Alright, what's going on guys? So, today I want to do a video on uh, the Cresty market a little bit, and if you're getting into Cresties, this is something to really listen to. Uh, basically, you know, I do a lot of reptile shows all on the East Coast, Oaks, Hamburg, uh, White Plains, Poughkeepsie, all these different reptile shows. So, and I have a lot of different Cresties to offer at these shows. I have lower end stuff, I have higher end stuff, I have stuff in the middle, and all this stuff is healthy. That's, that's not what differentiates the price. The price is all determined on the overall adult value of the gecko, the, the parents that go into the gecko. And, you know, unfortunately, if I bring all two $300 geckos to a reptile show, nothing is going to sell, being that some people don't want that two $300 gecko. They want that $50 pet gecko. And don't get me wrong, the pet gecko can be bred, but it's just, it's, you're not really going to get much out of that. Being that the fact that at adult value, you know, the crusty market is getting so saturated. It's it's not as saturated as leopard geckos, ball pythons, stuff like that, but it's beginning to get that way. So if you're buying a forty fifty dollars gecko and you're and you're thinking you're gonna make tons and tons of money out of it, it's just not gonna happen. Uh, if you're really into crusties, I always recommend to people to get invest in a higher gecko. When I was 15, 16 years old, I'm now 19, when I was 15 or 16 and I was just getting into this this hobby, I would go to reptile shows and buy the $100 adult gecko because I want a $100 adult female gecko because I wanted to breed right away and every season I would end up getting screwed over because the thing was probably 10 years old and that's why the breeder was selling it anyway. And when it comes to babies, it's always better to invest in a little in a more high-end gecko. Now, for example, I have geckos that I'll bring to a show that I'll sell, you know, for fifty fifty dollars, and it's a still a really nice animal, and you know, it's perfect for someone who has no plan to breed or just wants to get a little pet for their kid. But if you're absolutely serious about breeding crested geckos and you want to, in a way, make some sort of money in it, it's not f for profit. If you're doing it for profit, you're not going to make you're just it's just gonna go downhill because you need to have passion to do it if you're just in it for the money it's just not gonna happen so if you want to get into it I always recommend investing in some higher quality stuff I went from investing two two thousand dollars in a week from Anthony Caponetto's really nice stuff and I've had the best results I've ever had in any season my first year and I have stuff now that would blow people's minds away when they're adults next season so basically again I just want to tell you guys if you are looking into getting into crusty breeding invest in some high-end stuff and if not high-end more high-end than that $50 gecko at the at the reptile show that's gonna be an adult and and, and, if, and in any case you want to get out of it you're gonna have a lot easier time selling that gecko you spent a hundred dollars at the show, hundred fifty dollars at, two hundred dollars at, when it's an adult versus that forty fifty dollar gecko you bought at the show just because you didn't want to spend the money. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope I uh, impacted some of your decisions.